So before I post my video about the whole Mt. Gox Carpellus fiasco, I wanted to say hi. I'm actually about to go on stage at the Consensus Invest 2017 conference. I'm here with the CEO of Coindesk, Kevin Worth. Are you excited about the conference? We are. We are. A great show. A big crowd. Should be a good day. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So make sure you tune into the live stream and check out my video. Thank you. Mark Carpellus is in the news again, and there are a lot of people in the Bitcoin community who are really, really angry. Now, he is a controversial figure in Bitcoin because of his role in the Mt. Gox fiasco three years ago. Mt. Gox, of course, was an exchange that blew up and a huge amount of money went missing. Carpellus was blamed either through negligence or through ma malicious embezzlement. We don't actually know because the case hasn't been put to trial. Um, and so now he's in the news again because there's a chance that he may actually become a billionaire. And a lot of people are really, really angry. But I'm joined with someone who had money in Mt. Gox and would prefer to remain nameless and he is going to be getting some of his money back from the exchange so why aren't you happy that you're going to at least get some of your money back i'm not happy because i'm getting a very small fraction back of what i would have if an actual rational bankruptcy proceeding took place i'm not getting back bitcoins i'm getting back dollars determined from the exchange rate at the time the bankruptcy occurred in 2014 which was $400 per Bitcoin as opposed to $8,000 per Bitcoin. And that differential is all going to Carpellus. So Carpellus gets to keep all of the rest of the money and there's enough Bitcoin there that is going to make him a billionaire? Yes. According to the current Bitcoin exchange rate, he would be roughly given a, a billion dollars of value. Oh my gosh, so this is a guy who, as I said, either through incompetence or maliciousness, took a huge amount of money from people such as yourself, and now he gets to just keep it. All of those Bitcoins could go back to the actual people who, who put money into Mt. Gox and were defrauded, um, but they're not. Only a small fraction of them, even of the ones that were found, only a small fraction of them are actually going back to those people, and the largest fraction are going back to Carpellis. Why isn't it determined by percentages? You know, you owned 1% of Mt. Gox, therefore you get 1% of the remaining money. Why is it being determined by $400, you know, the exchange rate it was three years ago? Any rational person who thinks about this would obviously say the, the people should get back what they put in in proportion to how much uh, Bitcoins remain. That's clearly the, the right and the rational thing to do. It's probably, I would guess, because Japanese bankruptcy law in this case was not, was not formulated with the idea that there would be wild fluctuations in the value of the, the remaining assets of the bankrupt entity. Um, they probably just didn't think about that. People should rethink how these laws work and if need be amend them mm -hmm. given these kinds of situations. How is this fair? It's obviously not. It's, it's maddening to people who lost huge amounts of money, really, uh, uh, by the current price of Bitcoin. Because um, it, it, you would bad. still have that money in Bitcoin, right? So you would still be, you know, you would have been reaping the benefits of the huge increase of value over the past few years. My strategy was definitely to buy a certain amount of Bitcoin early on um, and simply to hold that quantity of Bitcoin. And I was deprived of doing that because of what happened to Mt. Gox. And it's terribly unjust that the guy who's really responsible for the whole fiasco, whether through negligence or through malicious embezzlement, that guy is the recipient of the lion's share of the assets that are remaining. What should have happened is right at the moment of bankruptcy, when at that moment, the equity was worth nothing. If we determine the equity was worth nothing then, that Carpelius should have zero claim to any future value of those assets. At the moment of bankruptcy, um, all of the assets of the remaining company, whatever they held, should have at that moment been transferred to the people, all the people who put money into Mt. Cox. It was rightfully theirs at that moment. At that moment, um, they deserved all of it. And in fact, they were the ones, and we are the ones right now, taking all the risk as Bitcoin goes up and down. Bitcoin could have gone to zero in the last three years. If that would have happened, then we would have got back zero. We're the ones taking all the risk. We should get the benefit of it going up from 400 mm -hmm. to 8,000. So when they made that evaluation of how much the assets were worth, they made the evaluation in fiat money, in yen, in US dollars. Why does that make sense when the money was being held in Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a currency itself. Why wouldn't it 
be determined in terms of like <laughs> the Bitcoin today. If you had two Bitcoin in your account today, you have two Bitcoin in your account. You know, if you had 20 yen in your account, then you probably have 20 yen in your account now, right? It, it doesn't make sense at all. And, and the tragedy of it is at the time, the custodians of that 200,000 Bitcoins that they had recovered, that they had found, despite the fact that they were literally holding on to those 200,000 Bitcoins and they still are in possession of those very coins, they didn't make it clear that we were only getting back $400 per coin worth. Um, that may have affected people's people's decisions in the interim. I, I was sim always under the expectation that however many coins there were, they were going to be split up amongst the people who had put money into Mt. Gox. Right. And that is that is what would make sense in this situation, but that's not what they're doing. And what is maddening about the whole situation is that he's been talking about this in forums on the internet, saying how excited he is that Mt. Gox will be reopening and he has all this money to spend and all the wonderful things we can do with Mt. Gox now that it's reopened. How does that make you feel? Well, it's, it's almost surreal that uh, a creature um, of, of this terrible uh, reputation deservedly uh, has this potential windfall of literally a billion dollars worth of value. It's, it's insane. Well, I hope that as the hearing comes out that maybe they look into the laws and they make an amendment and how this money is going to be distributed. I'm not hopeful, but I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.